I've said this many times before, but one of my favorite things to do after work, as we walk into the car park uh, with my colleagues, I always ask people, uh, you know, what are you going to do when you get home? And it's interesting to hear what people are going to do. Some people say, I'm going to go home and just have a nana nap. I'm going to go home and sleep. <laughs> Uh, some people say, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. Uh, we're all tired, you know, busy shifts, running around. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm going to get home and, uh, you know, wash up a bit. Spend a little time with the kitties, kiss them all many times, and then uh, get into the garage. And today, that was tough, man. Just exhausted, tired, dragging my feet, no spark. I sit down in my chair and I just look into the blank wall and I'm like, man, how do I fire up this engine of mine? You know, just flat. Um, I know these thoughts very, very well. You know, I've had these thoughts many times before and I know you have also had those thoughts. You know, you all kind of deal with it differently. And, you know, some people say, screw it, I'm skipping today. The trouble with that, uh, in my experience, by the way, it's going to rain. I don't even know if you're going to hear any of this, but I'll keep going. Um, when you give in to some of these thoughts, uh, the way I kind of think about it, and this often steers me away from it, is that whatever behavior you choose, you are essentially making it easier for that same action to occur again. So if you say to yourself, ah, you know, I'm a bit tired today, I'm just going to you know, have a rest. The next time around, it's going to be harder for you not to take that action, not to have a rest. So in my mind, you know, uh, squatting every day, this whole thing has been very easy for me because there's no conversation. I squat every day. Uh, and that's easy for me. Uh, there's no back and forth with my willpower. It's We're doing this today. There's, there's no excuse. Uh, but if I, let's say, said today... I'm not feeling it, I'm going to have a, have a rest, um, which is fine, a lot of people do that, it's very easily, you know, you develop a habit, very easily, just like I developed a habit with squatting every day, you can develop a habit every single time you do a morning shift, you come home at 3, 4 p.m., you have a nap for an hour, and then you get up, you cook dinner, have, have that, you know, and then watch some TV and go to sleep. Uh, and that becomes a routine. That's what just people do. And that's fine. But in my mind, that is not fine because am I just going to be a nurse for the rest of my life or is there something else that I'm working on? And that kind of drives me. I want to do something else. You know, I want to become something else. I want to... It's not even about like goals as such as, you know, I want to squat this or deadlift this or whatever. I just... I want to feel internally like I am something more mentally you know it, when i was growing up I, I used to get attracted to sports stars who had that mental edge kobe bryant comes to mind you know resilient you know uh, cold-blooded he would take the final shot miss or make doesn't care he, he trains the hardest he has the license to take the last shot because he freaking trains twice as long as everyone else so the practice allows him to take that shot and nobody else can say anything to him because he's practiced the most. Ronaldo, he's like a 38, 39 year old dude, mint shape, the fittest, works the hardest. That's attractive to me. Uh, some other kind of less notable guys are like, you know, Gattuso. I don't know if you know Gattuso, if you, if you watch uh, Serie A, if you watch uh, international football, I want to say soccer for, you know, that's kind of what... They call it here in America. They, when you say football, you're talking about NFL. Here, you're talking about AFL. Uh, but I'm talking about like the real football, you know, the, the international, the world game. Gattuso used to be this guy that used to chase everyone down in the middle of the pitch. He, he was this engine. And it's not freaking easy to do that. It's not easy work to freaking run stupid amount of mileage every single game. Uh, but I got attracted to plays like that because it's like, you know, they are leaders. Leaders through their sheer work. And so when I choose to do something that is uncomfortable, like I'm really exhausted today, but damn it, I'm going to freaking go squat. I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. I'm not trying to do anything to anybody. I'm just existing. But through that existence, I'm hoping that I rub off on other people. Mainly, it's an example for my kids. This is going to be me going into the future. 
When I go, that's how I live. I live through them. So the kids are the most important to all of us. And I don't try to say to my son or my daughter, obviously the little fella that's been you know, two months old, he doesn't understand any of it, but I never say to him, all right, let's go outside and train. No. Sometimes I say to him, go outside and play because you've had too much time inside. But I just want to have my training in the background. And maybe once in a little while, he'll look over and be like, oh, dad's training again. Oh, look, dad's training again. And hopefully over the course of years and years and years, I rub off onto him a little bit and he develops some sort of an expectation for himself later in life that he's like, okay, that works really hard. And that to me means a lot. Uh, I might not be the most skilled, the most strongest. I don't have the best results for my work, but nobody can take away my effort, my work ethic. That to me is special. I know when I played basketball, you know, when I played soccer, I always used to get attracted to teammates that worked really hard. I wanted to die for those boys because they work hard and I want to work hard with them. They're leaders. Whether they're speaking or not, they're leaders. Ronaldo, uh, a leader. He's a leader. There's no two ways about it. He just His work ethic makes him a leader. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, all these guys were leaders because of their work ethic. You know, leading can be just through action. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest. I feel proud that I've, that I've commitment my, committed myself for such a long time to this squat everyday thing. Don't worry about the results. This is something that I'm proud of because I've worked really hard. I've turned up every day. Everything else becomes second. And to me, I'm like, to my son, you know, to my daughter and to my, to my little little son now that was just born no long ago, one day I'll say to him, you know, uh, you got to work really hard if you want something. If you want to give yourself a chance of doing something really well, you have to work hard. But then if I say that and I don't have any credibility behind me, like that, what have you done that's been so disciplined and you've put in a lot of time? I can say, look, I sweated every day for freaking four years. I tried really, really hard. That to me is credibility when I speak. And just you as well, listening to this, you can also develop credibility in whatever the hell you want to uh, develop through sheer work. Gattuso was never probably the best player in his team at the top level, but he was the hardest worker. And the hardest worker have credibility. People, people stop and listen when they speak. In fact, a lot of those guys become coaches, the hardest working dudes, and they hold the room silent when they speak. Not the best players, the hardest workers, because hard work is a currency that we all respect. We all respect that shit, man. When the hardest worker walks in the room, think of David Goggins. You know, he might not be the best freaking athlete in the world, but my God, does that guy work hard. He's developed this image of himself, the hard worker, the hard-nosed hard worker, the hard ass. And when he speaks, it's like you, you can't help but listen because there's credibility there. He's, he's, he's done it. He's worked really, really hard. He's fought through all of the mental barriers and he's gotten somewhere. That's special. And I respect that. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.